everybody, welcome back to the Whiskey Hideaway. I'm Steve, and guess who's here with me? It's me, Dan Moore, <laughs> back at it again. <laughs> That's all right, and Dan has brought something. Now, we were already drinking some, uh, some cocktails out here. Uh, I made some really, really nice uh, old fashions that we had with a little bit of uh, uh, bourbon-aged maple syrup which was fantastic. And uh, we've, we've finished off that, but we still have a rock in here and we want to try some of the bourbon that he's brought to us today, which is Penelope. Penelope bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey. This is proof 80, four grain. And when we say four grain, we mean corn, rye, wheat, and malted barley. Aromas of sweet buttercream and fresh apples married with layers of nutmeg and allspice. The palate is a creamy, sweet dance of almonds and vanilla bean that finishes with hints of toasted macadamia nuts and subtle kiss of tangerine citrus. That sounds like a lot of flavors. Did you get all that? That sounds like <laughs> a lot of flavors in one bottle. I know. I love the tasting notes on this because we only taste like half of what they talk about, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to pop the cork on this. So we're going to break out the knife. All right. It's cork pop time. Rate it. That was, uh, out of 10, I'd give that a good eight, seven and a half. Yeah, it was about that same range. About seven. Yeah. Yeah. It's a synthetic cork. Ooh. So, you know, okay. Good cork pop. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, do you have any tricks? Tricks? Getting, like, you, you had a cap of water to regular you know. Well, we've got a big ice cube in here. So, uh, yeah, we don't need the uh, water. I know that. All right. So, uh, we've already kind of, uh, we're, we're chilling it, but we're not watering it down, especially, you know. I don't get hardly anything off the nose with the ice in there. Mm. So, yeah, I'm just going to go on taste. Right. Cheers. Cheers. That, that is very buttery. There's no burn at all on that thing. Yeah, it's just a little, like, it's buttery, then a little rip as it goes down. Yeah. Okay, I've, I've got to try it in a glint here. Right. Because the ice is just, it's spoiling me. I'm not tasting it. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Thank you. It's got, it's, it's got that fresh, uh, I want to say, it's like, I think it's light. It's like grass right after a rainstorm. Yeah, you know what I mean? I do. I understand. Yeah. Like, it's very, very clean, yeah, and light, sweet, fresh. and light. Yes. It's it's refreshingly light. It's not as sweet or savory as what a Irish whiskey would be, but it's very close. Without the ice, there's a bit more bite to it in the back of the At least I find. But not much. It's still light. Yeah, I don't feel it. It's still buttery. But then again, I drink a lot of high proof whiskey. And I come from. This is the first time I've opened a bis bourbon whiskey bottle in <laughs> six years, other than coming here and having a drink once or twice. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I like to try and do now with a lot of my newer videos, but I want to do a sort of a rating system. Okay. Okay, so we have the Whiskey Hideaway has a five star rating system. So, of the whiskeys that you've tried in your lifetime, okay, which may be very limited, mm -hmm. and that's fine, yeah. but what would you say you would rate this one to five? One to five. I mean, would you buy it again? I mean, I definitely would. Um, you were gifted this bottle, though. Correct. Okay. So, uh, what, do you, what do you think? You think it would be like, you know, between one to five? I'd give this a solid, like, right in the middle, 
Just right in the middle? Right in the middle. Because it's something I would go out and buy and keep stocked mm. just to have a light drink after work straight. Mm. And have that on hand. See, now you saying that changed my mind on my rating. Okay. Because... Um, uh, and I, I of, give it a, of some of the whiskeys that I've had, and I've had very, I've had a lot of different whiskeys that I've tried. When you just said I want to have something like this on my bar cart or something like that, you know, on my shelf that is a, a sort of a lighter proof that's just nice and sweet and easy to drink, easy. and you just you can have it on a rock or have it in a Glencairn or whatever, uh, and sit there and sip it. That. I mean, that means a lot right there. Um, and I I will change my... I was going to say two, right? Understandable. But I'm going to change it to... That was my air freshener. <laughs> like, Did you get scared? A little bit. I was like, something's coming through the window. I'm going to change it to like a three. I'm going to change my rating to about a three. All right. All right. So, uh, uh, because, I mean, it is... It's a decent whiskey. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh... Have I had better? Yeah, I've had better. I mean, you, you know, it's, it's not this five star that I buy once a year and save for five and always have and right. make sure. Right, right. It's right. just, and, it's something I'd want to have around. And the only reason that we do a rating system here is to see what your impression is. Because somebody else might grab a bottle of this and say, this is my whiskey. Okay, so of the whiskeys that you've had, like, what's, what's your favorite? Hmm... See, that's hard. I haven't had enough actual niche, like not niche, but going to, you know, uh, an ABC store and buying a whiskey to try. Or I, I get it. But even, 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 okay, so I'm trying, I'm, I'm going to do something here in the near future where we're actually going to do a blind review. Okay. Ooh. And we're going to take budget bourbons, right? And we're going to sip them one after the other, and we're going to rate them. And then we're gonna find out at the end what exactly it was that we liked the most, mm -hmm. right? And and so that's something we're gonna do in the future. And a lot of other YouTube channels have done this. So, you know, I get it. I'm not original, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but but we're gonna do that here in the near future. But that sounds fun. of the ones that you've had, what, what, what do you say is your favorite at the moment? I'd say at the moment, uh -huh. because this is the first time I've tried this, and how I, personally, my throat gets a little messed up, um, unless I drink frequently, and, right. uh, you know, being that I haven't, this is my favorite whiskey, because it doesn't make my throat close, and it's really smooth, and it is buttery. It is very smooth. But it is still whiskey. <laughs> like, it'll still make you feel warm. <laughs> I like that it's kind of muted, like, that's what I like about this, because, you know, And that's not, there's nothing wrong with that, it's, either. It's, it's Plain. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, but it's not plain Jack Daniels, like, wow. No, See, that's, no. And, that's and, and, and like we said before we got on camera, Jack Daniels, in my opinion, at least the base version of Jack Daniels, uh, is a mixer. Yes. You know, just like there are a lot of other mixers out there, you know, like um, uh, Bullet Rye. Bullet Rye is a great bourbon on its own, but... It's more, it's, it, I use it as a mixer. Right. You know, I'm not going to sit there and drink bullet rye uh, neat all the time. I would more or less use it as a mixer. Or if I want to uh, drink something that is uh, more along the lines of being budget friendly, I would drink uh, Evan Williams bottled and bond because that bottle was only like $15. It's a hundred proof. As far as the Penelope goes, though, and I have tried the Penelope, uh, um, the Barrel Proof, uh, and it was amazing. And then this one right here, there's nothing wrong with that one. I am all for it. Uh, I'm going to put this bottle to the side. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Whiskey Hideaway. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.